Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue Might and Magic Book 1, Secret of the Inner Sanctum. So let's fire it up and get our party out of the inn. Uh, what town are we in? 3? No. 2? Two? 2. We are in Portsmouth still, so let's gather everybody. Okay. Brigitte, Alexina, Eliana, Jahara, Naftala, Ayala. Okay, exit. Okay, so first, uh, let's go ahead and just take a look at Portsmouth. So as per our interlude, uh, I'm going to start using these online maps just as a reference. They're, they are not my maps. My maps don't look nearly as good as these. <laughs> Uh, so this is just a reference to show where we are. So we're going to take a look at a couple things here that we didn't our, our first visit. So we're going to go and uh, check out the armory or the armor smith, weapon smith, to see what he has to sell. And then uh, that's it. Oh, I did want to show something that I didn't last time. I was really in a hurry to try and cram in as much stuff as much content as I could going from place to place and I should have known better because that rarely works out with might and magic to, to be truly honest so let's go back to our game that just happened okay we're all good we're good Alrighty, so we're going to go out of the inn. Okay, let's turn right. And this is the town, <clears throat> excuse me, that uh, does not like men, does not like males. Uh, so this is why we have an all-female party, because these intersections that we're about to go into that um, are all over the town, they, they drain... Uh, characters that are male of um, of health. Okay, so here's our training. Let's just check real quick to see um, uh, 20,000, 52,000. Man, yeah. The the grind is, is about to get real. Um, grinding up to this point hasn't really been much. Let's see, I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, nah. You never know, though. I may have made a mistake on these, so uh, let's see. Let's go over this way. Nothing in this room. Oh, hello. Uh, Harpy, zombie, giant spider. I think this is a random encounter that's not fixed. So let's go ahead and take him out. We forgot to cast leather skin. That was dumb of me. Just cast Bless. Okay, Jahara. Go ahead and attack. Shoot. Hmm. I don't know how... Harpy. I hit a total of 22, so they have less than 20. Up to 22. I, wonder, I don't know if they're in Monster Group 3 or 4. That's another thing that I haven't talked about yet, is the Monster Groups. At least I don't think I have. Um, monster Group kind of are just the scale of difficulty based off of armor class, hit points, abilities, and so forth. Um, let's just go ahead and cast Fireball on Giant Spiders. That was helpful. Okay, did anybody take a hit? Uh, let's go ahead and cast Heal Wounds on Alexina. Okay, Jahara uh, misses. Not surprising. Giant Spiders down. Nice. Alexina attacks Harpy and misses. Um. Hmm. Uh, block with Ayala. Anybody need a heal? Nah. I could cast Turn Undead, but that seems unnecessary. Yeah. 
yeah, let's not let's not worry about doing that because they're not they're not hitting too hard. Oh, Jahara got a hit. That's nice. And okay, yeah, they're they're fairly flimsy against my people. So twelve down down fifteen. Let's go ahead and just cast a quick heal on Brigitte. Okay, shoot. Good job, Naftala. And they're down. All right, 266. Wooden chest. Magic, yes, but trap, no. Um, 23 gold each. Nice. 15 gems. Very good. Okay. And this is, I think, the... Uh, Visually forgetting a long story, an extremely beautiful young girl. Says with a seductive smile. Whoa there, young lady. I know how you can get... You probably have good sales, right? Buy weapons. Let's check it out. Spear, mace, scimitar, short bow, glaive, bardiche. So this is pretty basic weaponry. I think I have a scimitar. Someone does. Yeah, let's sell that thing. That's... And sell the longsword. Chainmail plus one. I didn't didn't remember that I picked that up. Eliana has a magic potion. I don't remember what the magic potion does. I have the tendency to hoard items in pretty much any RPG game or adventure game that I play I tend to hoard stuff so by get an end of the game no we're fine we will probably have our backpacks chock full of stuff that we probably won't need to use or they'll just take up space all right so nothing in the armor smith that we need now f uh, further down here a little bit yeah this way going back towards the east. Uh, if you come in and explore the town like you usually would, you come in this door and if you see there, note Zam is at 12-2. We, we didn't really <laughs> do this the traditional way and find the clue where Zam is because, let's see, I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, nothing in here. Uh, j just because I wanted to try to be expedient about our or expedient in our last episode okay so I don't think there's anything left that I really want to visit here we do have the temple let's see temple succubon that's subtle the once magnificent temple shows signs of neglect and decay. The high priestess asks, need help? Yes, make a donation, 100. Like, okay, so... I don't know... Restore my alignment. Make a donation. I don't know what making a donation does. Okay, so I made a donation. I made a donation. And I don't know... Like, is anything supposed to happen? That's one part of this game that I really never understood. So I just made, like, five donations with my wizard, and I don't know if anything happened. So anyway, uh, let's see. I don't think I need... And all these doors just have random encounters. I don't care about them. Um, but let's see just what kind of... Oh, are they all locked? Okay, I'm not interested in bashing or trying to unlock a door that's trapped just to um, see what an encounter is like. Okay, all these doors are locked that have encounters by them. Let's see, what about this one? This one's, oh, that one's locked too. Okay. Okay, yeah, they're all locked. All right, let's go back north. And I think let's just go ahead and exit the town. Now, a good uh, a, a good grinding pattern, pattern or route, I should say, without going through a bunch of locked doors is um, at any of these intersections, you can just go straight south. So since we're at the far 
eastern end of town. We'll just oh hello. Uh, we'll just do that now, just to show a, a good grinding pattern here at Portsmouth. Alrighty. Uh, do we still have leather skin? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and fireball the gargantuan ant and the orcs. Orcs are pretty weak at this point. Oh yeah, let's cast blast the gargantuan ants. I think the gargantuan ants give uh, good gems. Um, let's block. We did. We did our. We did our job with. Let's see. Jahara's down twelve. I think we're fine. Ah. At this point, also in the game, is where you start to try and be very economic about using your spell points. And for random encounters like this, where the mobs really aren't that powerful, uh, you want to start using your sorceress a lot less, or sorcerer. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we don't need to. Ugh. All right, nice hit. Oh wait. Uh, let's just do find. Four gold each. Okay, that that wasn't good at all. Like I thought it would be. I thought we'd get gems. Okay, so at the end of each of these halls, or yeah, hallways, there is a random encounter. And so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll just do these, uh, just to show. So you come down to, to any of these, and then I uh, just go to the end of each of these. And strangling vine. Oh, hmm. I'm not familiar with that one. I don't remember it. And always assume that. Oh, I'm glad that that didn't have many hit points. That was fortuitous. Okay, shoot the strangling vine. Shoot the strangling vine. Oh, that's right, the acidic blob. Um, hmm. Uh, might be. And we're going to start to encounter a lot of different, um, sudden onslaught of poisonous arrows purring at the party. Brigida found a magic sling and a broadsword. So Jahara is poisoned, but we have we have removed poison. Where's my cleric spells? Okay, so let's go to Eliana. Cast level it's level four, right? And this is why we needed level 4 spells so badly before we could start doing a lot of exploration and, and meeting mobs from all these different monster groups neutralize poison so level 4 number 2 4 2 cast on Jahara okay and I think that those okay good magic sling okay we got a magic sling broadsword Let's go to our hint book real quick. Uh, ranged weapons, ranged weapons. Where's a ranged weapon? Are there assorted items, shields? Oh, that's just notes. One-handed items, armor, two-handed. Oh, missile weapons, there we go. Magic sling. Knight, paladin, archer, robber, magic plus 10%. Special power, magic, temporary. So this is if we use it. Charges 10, 4, and 3? That's pretty good. Um, what does Jahara have right now? Crossbow plus 1, which is 6 and 1. But this is 4 and 3. Ooh. I don't think I'm going to give it to Jahara just because it won't do her any good because she doesn't have any magic but that's good to know I think I'll, I'm gonna hang on to that the broadsword I will sell though okay let's check out our hip or our magic points actually Ayala's at 1842 health looks good for most people 
I guess I should throw a heal here or there. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and rest. That's just more um, time efficient. Okay, let's go to our next. The monster surprised you, and I forgot to cast Leather Skin, which is fine because almost all of them are in melee range. Uh, so this this might be a slugfest, actually. Wild Boar, Demon Dog, I don't remember which of these are more dangerous. Ooh. Ooh, wild boars have a lot of hit points. Okay, well. Oh, why did I attack with Ayala? That was dumb. Uh, I should have cast Lightning Bolt. Uh, let's heal the archer. Good job. Okay. Let's cast Lightning Bolt. There we go. Let's heal the sorceress. Okay, attack. Attack. Oh yeah, let's just fry them all. Alrighty. Now, one thing I will say is, I, I cast a heal. Oh, come on! At the very end of combat, e even even when your party is about to win an engagement, and Wolverines. Oh, crap! Okay, let's hope that they're not dangerous. Nice. Very nice. Uh, so, casting heals towards the end of combat when you're about to win. That's something that I learned is a good practice to do just because if you have to rest after that combat to replenish, let's say, your spell points, then... Oh, we didn't need to cast Lightning Bolt again. That was overkill. Especially when we just found a cloth sack worth five gold each. That, yeah, that was a waste of spell points. So it, it's uh, it's important to keep your health uh, topped off, just because. Um, let's see, let's cast that. So you're down two, down eleven, down ten. That's fine. Okay. Oh, hello. Vampire Bat, Guardsman, Hippogriff. Okay, Hippogriffs are the priority. So as I was saying, trying to finish that thought, uh, you never know if you, ha if you have to rest to replenish spell points to maybe detect, detect magic on a, on a chest, or, or, or just you want to rest before you search. You never know if... Um, you're gonna have a random encounter when you rest, and if you don't have spell points to um, get you through a fight, you have to. Hippocrit advances. Not spell points. Crap. Um, how many spell points do I have? I have six. Okay. Um. Three, oh, let's cast three seven. Cast weakness. That's a that's a spell I haven't talked about. So weakness is very uh, useful for uh, engaging groups of monsters that are uh, that that are stronger than you. Such as the barbarians in the mad, mad wizard's cave. So we had problems with that group of barbarians, and we are uh, now at the point where um, our party can clear the mad wizard's cave without a problem. And the key I found was casting weakness on that group of barbarians. Um, 
I did try sleep. Sleep wasn't really effective. And... 20 gold each. Nice. Let's see. Rest. No encounters. Um... And so I found weakness was very useful in that case. So anyway, um, before we get any further uh, and get distracted uh, with another another combat engagement, so uh, I, I wanted to emphasize the point that it is important to keep the party topped off as much as possible at all times, not just uh, at the beginning of, a, of an engagement, but also at the end, just because you never know what's going to happen when you search. Um, because you can also run into an engagement when you search for treasure. Let's see. Uh, cast Fireball. One of our bread and butter spells. Okay. Okay, shoot Flesh Eater. And if we had my chart in front of us, uh, you can probably find one of these online that um, has all the monster groups together. You, you would see that... Uh, oh, we have a Savage Shrew. I'm not sure. Well, it went down one hit, so that wasn't too terrible. Let's see. Did anybody get down? Alexine is down 11. Wow, that, that engagement went pretty smoothly. Ouch. And then that happened. Nice hit. Good hit. Well, now I need to heal my paladin. Jahara shoots and misses, of course. And Naftala, she is... Detect. Leather armor! It's worth about a nickel. Okay, and these are all completely minor devil. Ooh, I don't like minor devils. For as low as a monster group as they are, they can they can really put a hurt on you. Do I have leather skin? No, dang it. But I want to cast fireball uh, because I want these minor devils down. Ouch, yeah, that energy blast was nasty. Um, we'll go ahead and cast Blast first, just because it's slightly important to... Strangling Vines must have a high um, armor class. What's your spell points at? Uh, let's block. Ouch. Okay, who needs a heal? I do. Take that minor devil down. There we go. Miss. Fight the one that's wounded, and you missed. That's right, these guys regenerate. Not their full health, but some of it. Come on. There we go. Fortunately, if they stick to just attacking, it's not going to take us down too badly. Let's just do regular first aid on Ayala. I really don't like my sorceress to have any health down. Alright. 316. Oh, wow. That's more than I thought that I would get. Nice, 55 gold each. That's pretty good. I mean, it's nothing compared to the wizard's, the crazed wizard's cave, but that's still pretty decent. Okay, we are almost, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, almost done with these. And as you can see, these, these engagements, they can go pretty quickly. Uh, they don't take a terrible amount of time. Ouch. Um... Let's see, Brigitte, I guess it doesn't really matter what I fight. Um, same with Alexina. Oh, oh, duh, they're fire beetles. That was, that was very dumb. Um, let's see, cast. Six. Ugh.
cast bless with the paladin because I can do that now. Okay, we're definitely gonna rest after this. Uh, we've we've used a lot of spell points that we shouldn't have had to. Okay. Take that, yeah, take that gargoyle down. Okay, cast, let's just, no spell points, eh. Let's see, let's do that. Okay, ooh, yeah, let's heal my sorceress. Attack, attack, breathe fire. That's not fun. Uh, heal my paladin. 308 each, nice. Six gold each and four gems. Rest. Uh, let's cast our protection spells. Okay, so. We can cast some protection spells that are actually pretty good for our cleric. The, the, my only reservation is we have 28 spell points. And we're, we're not fighting... We're typically not fighting monsters that are powerful enough to really, I don't know, do um, a boatload of damage to us. So we've had protection from fire for some time, uh, protection from fire, cold, and poison. So later on in the game, what we would typically do is cast all of our protection spells right after we rest. So we would go level two and number five is protection from fire. We don't really need to worry about protection from cold yet. There will be instances in the game that we will use protections from cold. Protection uh, level 2, number 6, is protection from poison. And I believe that that also, that um, the, uh, the protection spells protect you from damage of traps, I think. I think that's what they're supposed to do. There's also protection from fear. That's a level one spell. We don't really need to worry about that yet. We will later on. Uh, let's see. We've got restore alignment and protection from acid. That's another one that we would want. So protection from acid is a level four spell. Um, we will not cast protection just for illustration purposes because I'm not using four spell points. But anyway, at the beginning of each day, you cast all of your protection spells at the very late point in the game. And as you can imagine, you, you go longer in between rests and you, um, you, you'll you typically be, let's see, let's cast weakness um, because that affects the entire party of monsters. And you, you're much more strategic about when you cast spells. Plus your archer and your paladin will be able to cast spells as well. Um, a fair amount at that point. So you can use your archer and paladin to cast your more typical utility spells, uh, such as you can use your, well, you can use your archer, which I should have done just now, derp, to, um, oh, why did I use attack? Just smacking demon dogs around with my bare hand. Good job, Neftala. Um, uh, and so it, it becomes... Uh, it becomes a real strategy to um, know or figure when to use your spell points because they're very precious. Very precious. Nice job, Jahara. Actually taking someone down. Okay, good. Remember to shoot instead of smack somebody over the face with our bow. Okay, we will just block. Anybody? Yep, let's heal Brigitte. Ooh. I hit attack again, didn't I? I did. Idiot. Alright, Eliana even did some damage. Okay, 166. No, search nothing. That's that's rude. Their skin, protection from fire and poison. 27%. And I think that depends on our spell casting level. Or maybe experience level. I can't remember. Anyway. Fire Beetle, Dino Lizard. Uh, let's cast. I guess weakness. Uh, 
And I believe weakness can stack. Uh, it reduces not just um, total. It not, it's not just total health or not. Yeah, it reduces maximum health by one to two hit points. And so if you have regenerative mobs that don't necessarily have a lot of... What am I doing? I don't, I don't know. They don't have a lot of health, but maybe they have a really high armor class, like 10 or higher, uh, or 12 or higher. Uh, 10 or higher at this point is not bad, uh, but 12 or higher might mean that they would evade a lot of hits. Uh, let's heal our archer again. So weakness reduces that armor class and total maximum health, uh, which can make a big difference if you stack that three or four times. There we go. And I don't think there will be much treasure here. <laughs> yeah, dino lizards and fire beetles don't give great treasure. Okay, and so that's the whole that's the whole area. That's all, folks. Um, so this is everything in Portsmouth that I wanted to illustrate. Uh, let's go ahead and save at the end, and then let's go ahead and rest as well, and save again just for good measure. Okay, so now we are going to go out into the big scary world. And, oh, first, let's see how, uh, 17,000, we got a bit of experience, not a whole lot, but we got a little bit. <laughs> Crap. Exit, yes. Okay. So, uh, at the end of our last episode, we obtained a quest to find Lord Kilburn, and that's all that the, uh, Lord Iron Fist said. Find Lord Kilburn. Okay. What the crap uh, am I supposed to do to find Lord Kilburn? Well, we're going to we're going to go to area D1. And and, and this of course, uh, since this isn't a blind playthrough, we're saving gobs of time um, just going to where we we, we would need to, or, or where the game would intend us to go. So let's go to Ayala, cast um, Fly, and we're going to go to D1. Okay, now, I don't remember, oops, not, 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 one, seven. We are in zero, eight. Oh, seriously? Uh, facing north. Okay, that makes things easy. Alrighty, so let's go to our maps. Just to illustrate where we are going. So we are going to D1. Here is where we are. We end up in eight, zero, 08. And we actually just need to go right down here. Um, and here is, down here is a hint that is important to find Lord Kilburn. However, the, the, you know, you have to ask yourself the question. Let's see, go back. I think we just go straight south until there's a break in the mountains. Then turn to the east one, and then we get our clue. Kilburn in quadrant C3 at 614. Now the question is that we ask ourselves, how on earth would we know to come here to find this clue you, you you would have to be mapping out d1 which by the way is mostly desert um the very first time i played this i had picked up the quest to go to the desert nomads and i knew that the desert was primarily in d1 and d2 so i come up here and because I didn't have a very important item, I got lost in the desert. Party died, I think, at least three times. Maybe maybe four or five. And then I thought, okay, you got to be kidding me. While mapping this area, came across this. Of course, wrote it down. Didn't know what it meant because I hadn't yet been to Portsmouth. 
Uh, I was trying to get as many quests done from Lord Hacker and Lord Inspectron because I was an Erlequin. And so I eventually just gave up trying to find the Nomads and removed the quest and decided to go on the, 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 the storyline. Um, yes, thank you. Okay, so, so now... Um, and, and so anyway, when I finally got to the castle that says... Find Lord Kilburn. I already had this clue, uh, but I would I would have never known. So you either run into it by accident, or if you haven't been to D1 yet, you wander around the world, <laughs> and you either find this place exploring or mapping, or you run into Lord Kilburn by accident. Because now we're gonna go to C. Let's see, C3. I really. No, 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 no. We need to go to... I think C2. I think we have to fly to C2. Well, let's, let's try it. Um, so I don't know where I am. Okay, I'm in C3. I'm in 3-9. 3-9, where's 3-9? Let's look at it. Let's just I'll just just tab so we can look at a better map than mine. Okay. Okay. So we flew to three or C three. We're in three nine. So we're here. Uh, and as I feared. Okay. So I guess we can do some gallivanting around. Um. Because we can get where we need to go. Okay. All right. We're in for a bit of a hike, but that's okay. As long as we can actually get to where we're going, that is fine. Okay, so we are facing, let's see, that faces west and that faces south, yes? I didn't pay attention to what direction I was facing. F, all right. Cast one seven. I'm facing south. Okay. Way to waste a spell point. Good job. Okay. I think everything is impassable. So even if we accidentally hit the trees, it doesn't matter. Let's see. Do not go up there. We'll come back to um, this area. If we go north here, we'll start to go into the wyvern territory. We are not strong enough to fight wyverns yet. Okay, come east a little bit more. And yes, we turn. Road sign, Serpical, north, 22, west, three, north. Oh, nice, there's a sign. I forgot there was a sign here. Okay, cool. We have to go north. We do not take this left. Instead, we come through the trees here. Turn this way. Come up here. And now we're about to hit an encounter. Let's make sure that we're in good condition. We've got enough spell points. Knolls and kobolds. Okay, not a not a hard fight. Uh, we have no protection spells currently active. Let's just go ahead and cast fireball on the gnolls and people and the kobolds. Okay, bless and Jahara, Naftala. Oh, you can cast leather skin. Let's do so. And no, they don't hit too hard, but they can shoot me. Let's see. Do I want to really even cast anything? Mm. Uh, I guess we can cast weakness. I don't need to cast lightning bolt. Nice. <laughs> I even got one of them. And everybody, uh, well, yeah, we're not taking hardly any damage. So we're good. And they are running away because they have a low bravery factor. Oh, I did attack with my archer again. Eight gold, a bardish. 
Okay. All right, so now we come north here. North, turn west, turn north. And there's another random encounter right here. Uh, clerics and a whole crap ton of orcs. Alright, let's do this. I want to make sure I hit the clerics. Excellent. Okay, good job. Good job, people. The orcs should not be a problem. They're monster group 2, I think. So they don't have many hit points. Let's go ahead and lightning bolt a few of them. That's overkill. Let's see, everyone's in pretty good shape so far, so let's just go ahead and attack. Uh, my one of my cousins, or no, it was my my one of my friends would <laughs> hated it when I attacked with my cleric. I don't know, he just thought that uh, that was taboo. Okay, yes, yes. Great hammer. Okay. Alrighty, turn west. Okay, now we go through the trees here, and I think there's a... Oh, let's rest. Other skin. And we really don't need to cast our protection spells. Watch, I'm going to hit a random encounter that has... Oh, centaur. Hmm. Hmm. V. Maybe I can cast Turn Undead and that'll, that'll help. Oh man. That was a hard hit. What's uh, Turn Undead? We can cast Bless with our Paladin. Is it 8? Yeah, 1 8. Cast 1 8. Spell failed. Oh, that's a disappointment. Oh, ouch, that kind of hurt. Thank you, Alexina. Whoa, the zombies, they kind of hit hard. Somebody needs a heal, I'm sure. Uh, the cleric. They retaliated against the cleric for trying to instantly obliterate them. Some points, some points. Uh, once again, Ayala is the MVP. It's 44, 52. Healed Knight. Alright. Yeah, not even too bad. Four gems and a plate mail. That will be good to sell. Let's rest after that one. Cast Leather Skin. Okay. Backpacks are starting to fill up a little bit. Not much, though. Okay, so current here. Go down. We have two more encounters that we have to take care of. My instincts are telling me that I need to cast protection from my protection spells. Probably won't need them, but I'm starting to get paranoid because we're kind of deep in this, and I don't want to have a party death just from a silly encounter that we shouldn't lose. Two, six. Protection, fire, poison, leather skin. Okay. Flesh Eater and Centaurs. Well, I wish we had Psychic Protection because that protects us from sleep, which is what we... Alignment Slips? From who? Everybody... What? Hold on. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Evil. 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 I don't understand how your alignment slips. 
And there's nothing in the manual that talks about it, I don't think. Except for based, like, because of decisions or choices or something, um, your alignment can change or slip. <sighs> Whatever. They slept my two spellcasters. That is nonsense. Ugh. Okay. Fortunately, my paladin has wake up. So now my spellcaster. Wait. I want to hit the centaurs in the back. Oh, they've got resistance. Dang it. Um, who needs a heal? Nobody, really. So what's an offensive uh, spell that I can cast? There's pain. It's not really great. Silence. Suggestion. I wish my cleric could cast sleep. I do produce flame, but these are only one m one monster spells, which really won't do me any good. Silence, yeah. Turn undead really won't do me any good, I don't think, unless the flesh flesh eaters aren't dead undead. So, we will just um, block with Eliana. Orc, oh, Orc Leader. They've got an Orc Leader. Let's attack the Orc Leader. Oh, this is so annoying. <sighs> Wake up, everybody. Shoot the flesh eater. Okay. I think we'll be fine. It's just a little tedious. Okay, Jahara. Attack. Alright. Okay, more sleep spamming. At least they're not as bad as druids. Yeah, with my that's that's so very handy to have every to have four members that can cast awake. Very crucial spell. Oh, seriously, you just had to... jerks. Small shield, thirty-four gems, and nine gold each. Rest up. Okay, one more fight. Oh, uh, do we need to cast our protection spells? Probably. Two, five. Cast two, six. Okay, one more fight. Vampire bat, rabbit jackal, demon dogs, gnolls. Cast fireball. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. There are not. Uh, I think that does it have to be six or more? Well, we'll find out shortly. Okay, no. Oops. Cast bless. Attack the vampire bat. And it's nice that our armor class is now high enough that monsters that are in lower groups than us as far as like uh, armor, armor class rating, speed, um, all that good stuff, will start to miss. And of course, I will continue to miss. <laughs> all the time. Uh, but not as much. It's not as, nearly as bad as the beginning of the game, where you're missing all the time, where you're just a bunch of 18-year-old punks trying to beat stuff to death with clubs. 
excellent. And I think I can just swing at somebody with her flail, which doesn't do anything because she doesn't have the greatest accuracy. Okay, almost there, guys. Block. 650, 49, 58. Let's just do a quick first aid cast on Jahara. Regita, excellent. Okay, iron box, okay, cool. A Belladonna, we don't need that anymore since we've already done the Lord and Spectron quest. Okay, so now we turn this way. Go through, and turn north. Hello, Lord Kilburn speaks. Take this map and explore the desert. Report your findings to the other lords. Then they will understand. Except yes, no. Yes. All right, we did it. We have found Lord Kilburn. And now... You're going to go back to... Portsmouth, or C3, right? No, not C3. Ah, crap. Is it... B... Is it B? Where's my maps? B3. And we're going to enter Portsmouth and save, because that was just a lot of... A lot of stuff that just happened that we don't want to... Oh, hello. I guess we can take these guys on. Uh, lightning bolt. Par oh, paralyze. Paralyze, paralyze. Crap. Um... I had totally forgotten there. Okay, so Elian is not paralyzed. So I hope that I have a cure paralysis spell. Cure disease. But uh, that does not help. Cure paralysis, level three. So cast three, three on Ayala. Because Ayala is definitely more valuable than Jahara. Sad to say. Okay. Take that cleric down. Okay, very good. Do we have bless even? We do. Cast 3-3 three, three on Jahara. Attack. Shoot. Attack. Whoa, 350. Nice. Oh, we forgot to rest. Ugh. Uh, no, we already did. Okay, we're good. Oh! We're just popular today with the random encounters. Okay, I think we should be fine. Fireball, fireball, fireball. Blast the party. Shoot that guardsman. Good job, Jahara. Shoot the orc leader. Miss. Hmm. Miss minor devil. Oops, we want, I want to see my protection spells. Yeah, I didn't think I had better skin. Fight. Wait. Yeah, fight. Minor devil. Miss. Dang it. Uh, does anybody need a heal? Not really. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, that dang energy blast. That minor devil evaded a lot of hits. Okay. Yeah, heal the paladin. 
Ouch, ouch. So the beast runs away, that's fine. They're not really worth a lot of experience at this point. Come on, there we go. Great hammer, 43 gold each, 20 gems, nice. Rest, yes, sign in. Okay, oops. A little bit twitchy with the keys. All right. So now that we have the, we have the desert map, very important item. Uh, this allows us to not get lost in the desert. And so now we're going to go back to Lord, um, what's his face? Okay, so let me, let me just show on the map where we're going to go. We are in B. Where are we? We're in B3. Yeah, so we're in B3. We're here. We're just going to jot up here north and up and around and go to Castle, White Wolf Castle. Uh, this actually is not a random encounter. It makes me wonder if some of these differences where there aren't encounters or aren't things, if this was like on an, um, if, the, if they are there on the NES version. Or, or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So go north until we reach the mountains. Bump. And then we run into zombies and rabid lepers. And we have no protection spells because we're a derp and we forgot to cast them. Okay, take them down. Ouch. Ah, that's slightly hurt. We didn't have leather skin. Spell failed. Dang it. Nunda did not work at all. And I don't know hmm. what monster group the zombies are in. They seem to be susceptible to lightning. 42 at 52. Let's cast it on Ayala. Oops. One gold each. That's sad. Let's enter. And we just go straight forward. Return not until that quest is complete. What? Um, must refer to notes. Find Lord Kilburn. Do I have to talk to the other lords? Ah, garbage. Uh, let's see, castle quiz, the prisoners of the castles, will of luck, trivia island, crazy wizard cave, uh, climbing the trees, that's a fun one, that's silly, we'll, we'll do it just so that the content can be sh shown, but <laughs> it's kind of a pain. Okay, so, am I supposed to go to the other castles? Huh. I don't understand. I mean, Lord Kilburn did say to talk to the other lords, right? Hmm. I don't see anywhere in my notes that's giving me a clue to, uh... Give us desert map. Yeah, you get the desert map from Lord Kilburn. 
and then it gives you a quest to explore the desert. Hmm. Oh, well, crap. Uh, okay, well, I guess let's go to Castle Blackridge, uh, north and south, and talk to the lords there, and then come back here, and then if we still have to um, travel the desert, we'll, we'll do that. That'll, that, that can be dangerous, so let's do this. Let's fly to, uh, not Sorpagol, let's fly to Erlequin, and let's see, that's B2, I believe. Yeah, Ooh. No, we did. Did we fly to the right area? B2. No, we didn't. Uh, we need to fly to B1. There we go. That's better. Okay, now I recognize where we are. Um. Uh, no. Um. Okay. Yeah. Plus south. Yeah, let's go ahead and enter Erlequin. Let's, uh, rest. Uh, no, let's cast our protection spells <laughs> before we, um, <clears throat> excuse me, before we, uh, <laughs> save our game and quit. Okay, three. Actually, we just need the leather skin. We don't need anything else besides that. Okay. Alrighty. Yes, exit. Alrighty. So that will end this episode. In our next episode, we'll just go ahead and uh, talk to both of the lords of Castle Blackridge. And then we'll go back to Lord Iron Fist to see if that satisfies his quest. I did not make notes to direct me on this. So this will be, be part of uh, figuring it out. And then if we, let's see, we may have to go to back to D1 to explore the desert. Not sure. Um, if that's the right thing to do, but we'll first go to the Lord um, or the Castle Blackridge. North and South, talk to Lord Inspectron and Hacker again. And then we'll see uh, if we can come back to Lord, um, what's his face? Iron Fist. And if that satisfies the quest. And if we have to go into the desert to do that as well, then whatever, we'll go into the desert and hopefully not die. Because I think each square uh, that you travel into in the desert consumes food. So you can die real quick in the desert because there's a lot of desert squares. Anyway, uh, that's all for this episode. And until we come back for uh, our journeys among the, uh, the desert and the desert people, because we will be doing that eventually. Um, so long for now.